Today I want to share with you my recent thrift store mini haul. Hi sweet friends, I'm Mary and welcome to Mary's Nest. I'm a former New York City girl, but now I live the simple life with my sweet husband here in the Texas Hill Country. And this channel is all about cooking from scratch, living naturally, and creating a cozy home. So if you're like me and you want to live the simple life no matter where you live, be sure to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click on the notification bell below that'll let you know every time I upload a new video. Well, even though I filmed this uh, for Thursday, generally the day we go out shopping is Tuesday. And the reason is because Tuesday is the senior day at the thrift shops. Goodwill in our area, uh, in the Austin area, and also in the little town where we live, is when they give the discount to seniors. And I never quite know how to, to take that, that if I should be happy that I'm getting the senior discount, or maybe not so happy, but either way, I'm happy that I, I get 30% off. So I can't uh, sneeze at that. But I like to go to Savers, and we often stop in Goodwill, and then we have a little thrift shop in our town, and we just look around and see what we can find. And I really enjoy it, and I have a good time. And I find that it, you find unique things at thrift shops, and not everything doesn't look the same like when you shop at the bigger stores for, for the new items. Finding things in the thrift shop, uh, they're often very le you know, considerably less expensive, and they're unique, and I feel that's the way to really create a cozy home. Well, the first thing I wanted to show you, and I'm just going to pick up one because they came at uh, eight, and it's a little heavy, but these are placemats. They have the cork on the back, and then this beautiful, I love this, this beautiful vegetable pattern on the front. And I've seen these very expensive, um, but something that I really liked about these particular ones was that they were square. I thought this was very clever and unique and uh, definitely nice if you have one of those square tables that I've seen at some houses that I've gone to. Uh, and sometimes the, the, you're kind of sitting on a bar stool and the kitchen table is square. These would fit beautifully. But they would all, they're also going to fit really well on my kitchen table. And what's nice is because they're square, I could probably fit six, uh, three down each side and then one at each head. And I thought they would be lovely for like a luncheon, like if you have a little ladies luncheon, because the luncheon plates are a little smaller. And I also thought something that really attracted me to them is because they are hard, that if you're having a buffet where a lot of people might be sitting around and maybe sitting on the couch or something like that, having something like this is almost like having a little tray that you can put in your lap and have your hors d'oeuvre plate on here and whatnot. So I thought they would be very versatile. And I just love the pattern. They're so kitcheny and, and so pretty with all these lovely vegetables on them. And they were $5.99. I got them at Savers. And I forget, I think in Canada you have Savers too, uh, to my Canadian friends. Hello. <laughs> uh, but I think you call it something different. I can't remember the name, but I think it's all related. Uh, but $5.99, and on Tuesdays they give 30% off to seniors, so I got 30% off. So that was a nice savings. And there's eight of these, and they're in pretty good condition. Eight. So how can you go wrong for the price? And they're just so pretty. And also, I was thinking they'd be nice too, you know, if you're putting a vegetable dish or something on your table, I think they might also work as a little insulation to protect the table uh, from, uh, you know, spills or maybe a hot plate or something. I think these might work well. But anyways, I wanted to show you those because I just thought they were so lovely. The next thing I found was this charming little doorstep, and I've already been using this, so I've already cleaned it up and whatnot. I needed a doorstop, actually, uh, for my laundry room. So that's why I use my laundry room door. It tends sometimes to just sort of close on its own. And so I said, I was looking around for a while now for a doorstop. And this I also saw at Savers, one of the big Savers in Austin. And it, I just thought it was so adorable with the little mouse like he's like pushing, like he's holding the door up. And this is really heavy. This is a, I feel such good quality. And I don't know what it might have cost when it was new, 
but this also was three ninety nine, or, or the placemats were five ninety nine. This was three ninety nine, and I hesitated a little. I thought, oh, three ninety nine, maybe it's kind of a lot for just a little doorstep that I'm going to use in my laundry room. And I'd put it down, and I'd go back, and I'd put it down, and I'd go back, and then I finally said to my husband, oh, thirty percent off, three ninety nine. I I can't pass this up, so I bought this. Uh, Door stuff, and so now it holds the door in my laundry room, and it's just perfect. And I, I really like it. I was very happy with it, and it has a good purpose. You know, it's not just something. It's what I try to do when I shop at thrift stores. I try to go with a mission in mind. You know, what are the few little things that I might need around the house? Because I do have, given my age, I do have a lot of things, and I don't want to just add and have clutter and all of that. Uh, so I do try to be thoughtful when I shop at thrift shops and think. You know, what do I need? Uh, you know, what is the price? Uh, do I feel it's kind of cozy? You know, I like cozy and cute. I'm always thinking of, you know, making my home cozier and cozier. And so I have all these things running around in my mind and uh, ideas of, of what I need to serve a purpose in my house and then sometimes things ideas of things just cute things that I like like I've shared with you I have the little Mrs. Bunny Mrs. Rabbit from the the uh, Peter Rabbit series of Beatrix Potter books the little porcelain statue and I'm keeping my eyes open for the Benjamin Bunny to go with her because Benjamin as I've shared with you is my son's name so it's like that there might be a few things on my list that are cute little things that just sort of bring joy, uh, although um, Marie Kondo always talks about, you know, does it spark joy? And I think she'd be screaming in my house because there's a lot of stuff that sparks joy. <laughs> I think she'd want to clear out a lot of stuff, but it does bring me a lot of joy. And so I just thought this was so cute and perfect. And for $3.99 and then 30% off, I couldn't go wrong. And then the next thing that I got, and I actually got this a while back, and you may have seen it because I put it on top of my um, china cabinet that I have here in the kitchen, and I put it on top. I fell in love with this the minute I saw it. I saw this at Goodwill. It is perfect condition. There's not a scratch, a crack, nothing. And it's so well made. And the colors, you know, yellow, I love all my walls are painted yellow. And I love all the primary colors. I love the reds and the blues and the yellows. Uh, it, this just spoke to me. And I said, this would just look so lovely on top of my china cabinet. And I turned it over and I couldn't believe it said, made in France made in France, so beautiful like this. This was another thing that I took it off and I put it down, should I get it, should I not, you know, because do I really need a big picture? Maybe not, but looking at this makes me so happy and I'm always glancing up at it on top of my china cabinet. And this also, this was three ninety nine at Goodwill. I couldn't believe it. Sometimes I'm so sort of blown away by the way they price things because they may have one canning jar and it's like a dollar ninety nine. It seems ridiculous. It's not a good buy at all. But then they'll have something as lovely as this for three ninety nine. And in a previous video, I don't know if you had a chance to see the uh, thrift our, our three thr three favorite thrift store finds uh, that I did with uh, Heidi over at Rain Country, and I'll link to that video. And there's a whole playlist. There's her video and a whole bunch of other people who joined in. It was a collaboration. I found a beautiful, which I share in that video, a beautiful canister with a, a like a painting on the front of a lady and she looks like a sort of a 1950s kind of mom with an apron it's cute it's it's done in black on the white uh, uh dog treat do jar and she's giving the little dog treat to the dog it is so adorable that was only 3.99 i couldn't believe it and with the 30 percent off on senior day how could i go wrong and the seal is so beautiful i i, I won't go into it now i'd go into it in that video but this was 3.99 and then 30 percent off beautiful, not a scratch. The handle is beautifully attached. This is just lovely. And it does spark joy when I look at it every day, sitting on top of my kitchen cab, uh, my kitchen china cabinet. If you'd like to see more thrift store hauls, be sure to subscribe to my channel and then click on this video over here where I share my three favorite thrift store finds. And I'll see you over there in my Texas Hill Country home. Love and God bless.